Hash brown potatoes. Hey, welcome to Sing and Cook. My name is Chef Arpal and I'm going to show you how to make hash brown potatoes. Now, this is a request from somebody who's been telling me, Chef, please make hash brown potatoes. Please make hash brown potatoes the way it is made in a hotel. Okay. Now, I thought, okay, I'll make it for you, but I will add my own values to it. And what you need to do for a good hash brown potato is, before I mix the potatoes, I need to chop an onion. Okay. So, take one large onion and chop it. Now, this onion, what we'll do is quickly saute in little butter. One tablespoon of butter and saute this onion before we mix it with the potatoes. In goes the onions. Now, saute the onions in butter till the time they're translucent. Now, why do you saute the onions? You saute because you want the sweetness of the onions. Don't want the onions to be sharp. Okay, that's why I'm sauteing the onions. While the onions are getting sauteed, what I'm going to do is grate potatoes. Now, essentially, I'll tell you, for a good hash brown, the potatoes need to be three-fourth boiled, not completely boiled. And secondly, the grating has to be from the larger, greater side, okay, where you get thicker strands there. Longer strands, better it is. And I'll take around three boiled potatoes to make a nice thick hash brown. Quick look here also. The onions are done, so you don't need to saute until they are browned. They just need to be translucent. I'm closing the flame and at this point of time, what you need to do is add the onions to this. What you need to do is a pinch of nutmeg powder, very important. Half teaspoon black pepper, freshly crushed, salt to taste. Okay, now this hash brown is a generic hash brown. To this, you can either add some chopped parsley. Some people add ingredients like bacon also to this, sun-dried tomatoes to this, olives to this. But what I'm making is a simple hash brown. I'm just adding parsley chopped to give in the color, little bit of color. So one tablespoon of chopped parsley. You don't get chopped parsley near your house, don't worry. Now just mix this up, mix this up. You see these strands, beautiful, there you go. And what I'm going to do is in the same pan here. Oh, look at this, should be enough. So what you need to do is spread the potatoes using a spoon and then from the sides you need to bring them like this. You need to pull them back. This point, after you cook for some time, slide in a butter. Let the butter go all throughout. Now, what you need to do is reduce the flame also and keep pulling back the potatoes. The color on one side needs to be nice and brown before you turn around. Okay, now you see, it's a nice piece of potato. After a point of time, what should happen is, if you just shake the pan like this, there you go, the whole potatoes should move as a one bunch thing, okay? And what I'm going to do is just press this little bit. What I'm going to do now is very important. You see, I'm changing these spoons, very important. You should have a spatula, which helps, not a very thick one. and. Oh, it's breaking over. What you need to do is, and this is what, you keep pulling the sides into the center so that it becomes a nice and a smaller round and a thicker round. And it becomes easier for you to flip over. Otherwise, you're going to break it. You know, that's what I'm doing at this point of time. Big risk. So what you're going to do is quickly, wow, look at this. Now, there would be difficulties in flipping over. Even as a professional, most of the time, they break up. You know, the hash brown breaks up. 
So what you can always do is, as a trick, I will share this with you, is you can use a small plate like this, put it on top, flip it, then slide it back. That's what you can do. Generally, because these strands are loose inside, you know, and you need to cook it on low flame. You need to cook it so that the entire thing gets cooked well. Keep pulling it back. It needs to be a nice thick piece of hash brown and the strands need to be visible. As you pull out to eat, the strands, they need to be visible and it needs to get cooked for a long period of time, okay? It's just not that a good hash brown cannot be just cooked in a jiffy. One, because the burritos are three-fourths cooked only. They're not completely cooked. So you need to cook it on slow flame, increase the flame, get the whole surface on top like this, nice and brown, and then flip it over. Flipping over is the biggest challenge in this, okay? So you remember, keep a small plate handy if you want to flip it over. Now, I tell you, this is best eaten, of course, as a breakfast thing. But I tell you, if you can make a mushroom, rago kind of a thing, it's amazing. Pour on top of this and have it. Now, this one is looking beautiful and wow, looks like a nice piece of parado. I love this piece. And what you need to do is slide this on a plate. I tell you, you can just eat it like this. Good hash brown potato, smells good, surface nicely brown, inside absolutely soft. And what you can do is just eat it like that. Have a spoon of butter on this, keep eating like this.